2010, my wife and I were driving to Palm Springs on a vacation, and we were passing a large wind farm located in San Giorgino, California. It was noontime, and while we were driving, I noticed that neither one of these wind turbines were spinning. They were actually standing still. And then something came into my mind. How can we make renewable energy as a viable source of power generation while we are depending on uncontrolled natural source of energy, such as wind and solar? Clearly something was missing. And the thing that was missing was energy storage. With the transition to renewable energy well on its way, the world is starting to come to terms with the fact that since energy is being created when the sunlight is out or when the wind is blowing and we need to consume it at any given moment, we must be able to store that energy and make it available for us at hours in which energy is not created. So there are several energy storage technologies. Some of them require huge infrastructure such as pump hydro stations, which are also capital intensive. Other relies on lithium-ion batteries. The lithium ion is simply not the right solution. It is a scarce resource that needs to be brought from very, very specific locations in the world. It is unsafe to use. It degrades over time. But maybe most importantly, this is not an environmentally safe product. You simply cannot base the transition to green energy on something that is so unsustainable. So we came up with a new technology for energy storage using only water and air. In fact, we are storing energy in the form of compressed air. The main challenge was to overcome the price of the tanks that used to store compressed air. In order to hold such a large amount of compressed air in a 60 bar pressure, you need a huge steel tank. And these tanks are very expensive, they cost about $1 million. It's simply unaffordable. So we invented a new type of tank made of unique polymers in combination with steel shell. We bury it underground and cast it with unique mixture of cement. This, by the way, allowed us to go to the market very early with our another product, the AirSmart. Compressed air is a very common resource in many industries. Our AirSmart system, which is based on our proprietary tanks, allow manufacturers to manage their entire compressed air systems smartly. This assures much more stability to production and reduce the cost of energy by up to 40%, resulting in saving of millions of dollars and significant CO2 emission reduction. Back to energy storage. Now that we have a system figured and validated, we developed a circular, self-sustained system around that, using closed circle water to compress the air, allowing us to store energy in the form of compressed air. This is air battery. This is a very efficient system. It enables multiple daily charge cycles with no degradation at all. We can scale it up as much as needed, supporting long duration and long-term storage and with minimal length footprint, as most of the system is installed underground. So instead of being limited by the intermittency of natural resources, we are harnessing the most basic natural elements, air, water, and Earth to regenerate energy in a safe, cost-effective manner. This is something that we're trying to achieve on a global basis, a safer, CO2-free future. So you know, throughout the years, many were skeptic about this technology. Will it work? Will it be efficient? Will it be cost-competitive? As you can see today, not just it works, but it has great performance numbers. It's clean, affordable, with no supply chain limitation, and no dependency on scarce raw material. Yes, I think we did it. We are proud to serve at the forefront of the efforts to create a better and greener future for all of us.